Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be reviewing the new Alma Viva collection from Kaleidos Makeup. You guys know Kaleidos to me is one of those it brands and every time they have a new collection I get so excited for. But this collection specifically, it was just screaming at me because the muted pinky purple tones is just so up my alley. And Kaleidos was kind enough to send the entire collection over to me so I have the whole collection to show showcase in today's video. So with that being said, if you guys are curious about my thoughts on the Alma Viva collection from Kaleidos, then please continue watching. All right, let's start off with a collection of breakdown. Let me show you what's in the Alma Viva collection. So just in Kaleidos tradition, a lot of their collections come in a dresser that you can reuse and repurpose. So I have it behind me here and it comes in like a satin material. You can buy the dresser on its own for 53 USD and when you open it up it has a mirror inside and it is just hollow there's no compartment but it is a velvet inside so it does feel very luxurious it's very sturdy I feel like they just get better and better but in the collection there are two eyeshadow quads that go for 22 US dollars each there are also four new shades of their mono blush which are 18 US dollars and then we have a new formula of their unattained Glow Glossy Lip Glaze. There are seven shades in total. You can buy all seven for 84 USD or individually for 16 USD. And then also in the collection, there is a handheld mirror for 15 USD. It's all black, has the Kaleidos logo. That detail is so pretty and I love handheld mirrors. So it's nice to have one from Kaleidos now. So if you wanted to purchase the entire collection, it is 218 with the dresser. You could also get the entire collection without the dresser for 178 USD. So that was just a quick breakdown on the collection. Let's talk about the products. Let's talk about the eyeshadow palettes first because I like to go in order of application. So starting off with the two eyeshadow palettes, the packaging itself is really pretty. The outer packaging looks something like this. I feel like this is just very Kaleidos. It's very on brand for them. Simple but very futuristic is what I get from them. But the actual palettes are really pretty as well. It comes in that satin material just like the dresser. And the two palettes are just slightly different in color. So Twilight Rush is a little bit more purple and that will indicate what you're going to get inside. This is the more purple grungy palette. And the other palette called Venus Trap, the outer packaging is a little bit more pinky base. And when you see the colors inside, you're going to get like one light mauve pink and then the other shade are very smoky and cool toned. And if you are new to Kaleidos, they actually have came out with this type of quad format and formula before in previous collections. So all their quads come with three mattes and one shimmer. And Kaleidos mattes are one of my favorites. They are very buttery and soft and highly pigmented. They're so easy to work with. I feel like I've never had any issues with their eyeshadow formula. And then if we're to talk about their shimmer shadows, it's so pretty. So they work more like an eyeshadow topper, especially the one in Venus Trap. The base is not as strong. You're really going to see those micro glitters shine through. So I would say it works more like an eyeshadow topper, but I put it all over my lid and I love it. Like you could use it both ways. The shimmer in the Twilight Rush palette is more of like a duochrome flip but it still has a lot of micro glitters. So if you love micro glitters you are going to love these palettes. I feel like these palettes are just so so pretty. Venus Trap is my favorite. I love the muted lilac pink and then the cooler tones to accentuate and define the eyes and then the shimmer perfect like this quad is perfection to me I'm wearing a venus trap on my eyes right now and kaleidos eyeshadow formulas like definitely top tier although 22 dollars might be expensive for a quad the quality and packaging and formulation is very high so i would definitely recommend then let's talk about their mono blushes so this is not a new formula their mono blushes came out in a previous collection so these are just four new additional shades as for 
whole packaging it's kind of the same concept we have two in a like deeper rosy mauve and the other two is in like a brighter pinkish color and that will also reflect what you are getting inside so let's talk about the ones in the more deeper mauve packaging we have hot shot and pearl bliss these two when you look at in the pan they look like almost contour or bronzer type of shades but once it's translated on the cheeks for both of them i feel like they go on a little bit more peachy and more warm i thought they would go a little bit more sand like not in a bad way but yeah i feel like once on the cheeks especially on me i do have a warmer complexion they come off a little bit warmer than i thought so with hot shot this is like a light beige it's definitely i would say probably like the lightest out of the two and then we have a pearl bliss which is more of a light muted beige so they're both like beigey type of colors on the cheeks then for the two in the brighter pink purple packaging we have angel wing which is like a milky apricot color and we have a pale rose which is the shade that i'm currently wearing on my cheeks right now this is like a baby mauve pink pale rose is my favorite out of the bunch i love a good pink blush and i feel like this is not too bright of a pink because I feel like some pinks can be a little bit too bright and overpowering but this is just like the best complimentary cool tone rosy pink and I love it it's my favorite out of the four but with the mono blushes this formula is just Oh, and it just mounts into the skin. It looks really, really beautiful. These are all matte blushes, but I do feel like they have a satin finish. Like, it just looks so good on the cheeks. Like, something about this buttery blush formula, it just infuses into your skin so well and i love the four new additions to the mono blush line because i feel like the previous five they came out with are a little bit more brighter very on kaleidos i feel like this is a collection that kaleidos really needed in their lineup something a little bit more muted for the soft glam girlies like me like this is what i love so yeah the blush is absolutely beautiful as well but definitely pale rose is my favorite shade then lastly we come on to the new lip glosses so these are the untamed glow glossy lip glaze kaleidos has a way of naming their products because it's always like a tongue twister with their cloud lab lip clays and now we have the untamed glow glossy lip glaze <laughs> it's such a tongue twister but the packaging you guys absolutely stunning this has to be one of my favorite kaleidos packaging ever like it's so on theme with them and it's just so unique and it's so pretty i love how you still can see the color inside with that gradient bottle it's absolutely stunning so like i mentioned that there are seven shades but two of them has more glitters in it and the rest don't have glitter so we'll talk about the ones that do have glitter in them first and even within the two that we have these are very different from each other so starting off with the shade penthouse this one is more of like a metallic gloss because you'll see sort of like a duochrome flip from fuchsia to rose gold it is very pretty it actually reminds me a lot of their older glosses if you've been with kaleidos since the beginning they had i think it was like lip lucid one of the first products i tried from kaleidos and those were like duochrome metallic lip glosses that kind of reminds me of that formula but this one will have like a metallic flip to it so it's a little bit different from the other glitter shade in freefall Freefall is a little bit more translucent. Um, it has a little bit of a tint of that darker purple, but I would say for the most part, it's going to go on a little bit translucent and it's going to have those purple silver glitters. So both are very pretty, but very different. Even though they both look like metallics in the bottle, Freefall is more sheer, whereas Penthouse does have more opacity. And then for the remaining five glosses, you guys, these are so pretty. I love the tone and all five it's so hard to choose a favorite like these are just mauvey muted pink perfection that's what it is so let me talk about the shades first and then we'll talk about the formulas let's start off with last smoke this was actually the first shade that i used and i was automatically obsessed i don't have a gloss that is like this grungy mauve it's so smoky like if a gloss can be smoky it's so pretty and whenever i'm doing more like darker purple looks i definitely will be wearing last smoke i think it's such a unique like cool tone mauve definitely a must-have 
have in my opinion. Then we have Hot Pursuit, which is a little bit darker than Last Smoke, I would say. It's described to be like a rosy brown, so it still has those aspects of mauve, but it's just a little bit deeper. Then we have Elixir, which is described to be a warm pink nude, and this would definitely be one of my favorites. Definitely top three. I love how this looks. This is just my lips, but better, but in a gloss. It's so cute. I love a warm pink. Like, you can't go wrong with that. Then we have the shade Skinny Dip, and this is described to be a neutral beige. I definitely can see Skinny Dip being like one of the popular shades because this would pair so well with any lip liner if you're really into your nude lips. It also does have little micro glitters in there, but you can't really see that once it's on the lips. I wouldn't compare it to those other glittery lips that we talked about first. And then onto the final shade, Pink Marquise. This is the shade that I'm currently wearing, and I would probably say my favorite. As soon as I saw it on Instagram, I was like, Pink Marquise is going to be my favorite. I love that like more mid-tone, cool-tone pink on my lips. So if I had to pick my top three, out of the seven, I definitely would go Pink Marquise, Elixir, and then Last Smoke. So if you have a similar preference to me, I would definitely recommend these three. Like, these are just so, so pretty and so unique and very flattering. But all in all, all the shades are really pretty. So when it comes to the formula of the gloss, I feel like it just hits a little bit different than other glosses because you get that ultra juicy shine. And because maybe a lot of the glosses have little glitters in it, you don't see it when you apply, but the finish of it, it gives off like a very pearlescent effect and it makes your lips look very bouncy and pouty and juicy. Like the gloss is really juicy, but I feel like if you want to get that juicy effect, sometimes with the formula, it's a little bit thicker. But this formula is not thick at all. It feels very lightweight on the lips and it's very comfortable it's not sticky like not sticky at all it kind of feels like I'm wearing a lip oil maybe but all right those were my thoughts on the Alma Viva collection let me know if you have any other questions every time I film my review just because I don't plan out what I'm gonna say I just go on the top of my head so sometimes I feel like when I'm filming like did I review this properly? Did I miss out anything? But I feel like there's only so much you can say about a product and I've kind of hit all the points but I don't know when I'm sitting here and filming I'm like did I review that properly? Should I review this again? So yeah if you guys have any questions just always leave it down below. I'm always answering to my comments but I do have two looks for you using the two eyeshadow palettes to end off the video. So let's move on to those looks. So to get started with the first look we'll be going into the Twilight Rush quad. This is the more darker purple palette. I'm gonna be taking the diffuse shade first and I'm just gonna work this all over my lid first using windshield wiping motions and then I'll slowly blend that up into my crease. This is the base, the transition, so just getting a really nice diffused wash of this all over the eyes. It's a really nice like muted grungy lilac. <laughs> so with this palette I really wanted to do something you know a lot darker more smoky. I feel like my eye looks so much bigger here and like my eye here looks so much smaller with no makeup on. Using the same shadow we're gonna diffuse this all over our lower lash line. Usually I just focus it at the outer corner but I'm gonna go all the way in to get a really smoky and grungy look. Like I'm not gonna be shy to bring that down a bit lower. Now we're gonna take the base shade and just using an angled brush I'm gonna use this to create a very thick smoky wing this is going to be the start of like a gradation smoky wing I don't know why when I think of like a darker grungy look I always think of a smoky wing lining my entire lash line we are also gonna take that onto our lower lash line as well but this time I'm gonna focus it a little bit closer to my lash line And now we're taking Accentuate, which is like a matte glittery black. So I'm taking a smaller angle brush to be more precise. I kind of want my wing to be a little bit more upwards. And then same to the bottom lash line as well. Now we're going to go in with the Radiate shade. I'm going to focus that at the center of my lid first just to get the most pigment there. And then once I feel like most of the product has left my brush, I'm going to start sweeping it around to get a really diffused look. Honestly, for this look, I would have loved to keep it matte. 
but because I want to use all the shadows, we're just going to apply. So I tight lined and put lashes on off camera, and now it's time for blush. I'm going to go in with the shade Pearl Bliss, which is such a cute name, anything with pearls in it. It's like kind of like a few shades darker than my skin tone, so it's not so obvious. I'm not sure how much you guys can see on camera, but in person, it's coming off like a brownish peach. But here is the first look completed using the Twilight Rush Quad. I'm also wearing the glossy lip in the shade Last Smoke. It's the perfect mauve for this purple look. I love how grungy and smoky this look turned out. I also added a few beauty spots um, and I think they just added to the look a bit of detail there. And yeah, I just love this smoky, grungy, purple look and I hope you guys like it too. And then moving on to the second look, we'll be using the Venus Trap eyeshadow quad. I'm going to first start off with the base shade and this is going to be the base, the transition. I feel like in the pan it looks more pinky but I would say once it goes on the eyes it's a little bit mauve but I feel like this is the perfect light transition shadow for a cool tone eye look. We are also going to run that onto the lower lash line as well. Then we're going to go into the diffuse shade and this is going to go at the outer corner. I'm going to focus it mainly on my lid, like sort of at my lash line to get the most pigment and then I'll slowly start using windshield wiping motions to get that into my crease and more towards the center to really diffuse the shade in. I'm also going to bring a little bit into the inner corners just so we can have like a very subtle halo eye. We are also going to take that onto the lower lash line as well just to get started on that definition. I really want more of the focus to be at the outer corner though and it's going to go a little bit straighter. Now we're going to take a little bit of Radiate and I'm just going to use my ring finger and I'm going to dab that on at the center of my eyes and then use a clean finger to diffuse that out. I also just want the little micro glitters to come through, just a little sparkle and twinkle. This is really pretty, it's like a taupey silver. I'm then going to tight line with a brown gel liner, this one is from Can Make. Then using Accentuate, I'm gonna use this to smoke out my wing and also just like diffuse and make the lash line smoky. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take that into my inner corners here. Bring it out into the center a little. go in with a glitter liner just at the center as a base. I'm gonna go back in with the radiate shade which is the metallic and just apply that on top. And for blush for this look we'll be using the shade Pale Rose. I feel like this one to me is like probably gonna be my favorite. And then for gloss I'm gonna use Pink Marquise. So those were the two looks, so what do you guys think? Which look was your favorite or which palette is your favorite? I would love to know in the comments. I absolutely love this collection. I feel like there were no duds. And honestly, when I think back to other Kaleidos collections, there's never any duds. I feel like they always just get it right. They always think about quality over quantity, truly. But yeah, with that being said, that will conclude today's review, guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. I love you so much and I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye!